My name is Dick Cole. I'm a retired lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Air Force. While I was in China flying the hump, I became uh, uh, acquainted with uh, Colonel John Allison. Uh, and uh, we visited off and on with each other. Uh, when it came time uh, for my rotation back to the States, uh, I was home for three months and I received a call from John that uh, they were forming a special unit that uh, Phil Cochran and he were going to be co-commanders and were going back to Burma uh, and they were looking for people that had experience in the area and he wanted to know if I was interested. Uh, my roommate uh, uh, and I both decided that uh, we would go. Uh, so in uh, October of uh, 43, uh, we were back over in uh, the Burma area. Now, the concept of the first air commando uh, came as a result of the Dig Four meeting in uh, Canada. It was uh, one of the subjects that uh, came up in the conference is the hardship of trying to invade Burma by ground. Uh, uh, it was uh, very uh, hard to walk a long ways and uh, it was very hard to resupply it. And as a result, there were, I believe, four attempts by different generals to uh, in, in invade Burma. Uh, Arnold was there, General Arnold of the Air Force, uh, picked up on it and uh, decided he was going to try to do something about it. So he uh, called uh, Allison and uh, his friend to uh, uh, command the whole thing. And, and as a result, there was something like 600 people uh, enlisted for that. And uh, it was a small task force. It had B-25s, it had fighter planes and so forth, and uh, the object was to uh, invade Burma by towing gliders uh, so that uh, you could uh, take stuff in and take stuff out. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, as a result, uh, they formed the uh, Bombers and the fighters were busy in the daytime. Uh, and uh, there was a couple of unique things. Uh, the fighter pilots uh, would uh, fly down over Rangoon in the morning and uh, in their fighters and so forth and come back and land and uh, take off that afternoon, the same people were dual uh, operators. Uh, well, one for one thing, we were not challenged by the Japanese. Uh, uh, they didn't seem to worry about or know about uh, uh, us building a, a couple of airfields 230 miles into their occupied territory. Uh, the unit itself was uh, very versatile. It had uh, fighter planes, and bombers, uh, light planes, gliders, transport planes, and uh, General Arnold had uh, given the, the uh, commandos kind of a blank check. 
Well, the gliders were very important uh, in an initial phase of being able to haul in uh, security troops and equipment, small engineering equipment. And uh, once that was done, uh, the, the gliders were, were, were not used too much. Uh, but uh, uh, they served a purpose. Uh, Almost every uh, crew uh, did it by, a, uh, I would say, hit or miss. Uh, uh, you would take off and uh, get your uh, your weather report or after you visualized what was uh, taking place, and. Uh, uh, I don't remember the time when it was uh, socked in completely. You know, there was a, a breaks here and there, and I, you were able to work around them. Uh, we called uh, some of them, uh, you'd see it, these holes in the clouds, we'd call them uh, uh, sucker holes, because if you threw in the one, um, it was kind of a misleading <laughs> thing. It really wasn't a hole here. There was something else on the other side. The most difficult part was uh, trying to uh, uh, take uh, troops into uh, water-soaked uh, areas all the time. Uh, you know, uh, the other thing was that uh, in the conception of the idea, they had uh, modified uh, 13 C-47s uh, uh, with a, what they called a pickup uh, system. It had a reel inside the cabin and then it had an arm with a hook on the end. And, uh, it was uh, kind of a dream that they could pick up uh, uh, people uh, in the desert or in the jungle and so forth. And uh, that was uh, a uh, misleading thing. Uh, it turned out that the light planes, we had, we had uh, the uh, L-5 and uh, uh, were they really uh, what they uh, had dreamed of with the real? Because uh, you could land on dry and dead lake beds and uh, river beds and so forth, and uh, you could resupply the ground people uh, with different supplies and. Uh, uh, haul out the wounded and so forth. Uh, 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 L5, L1, L4, little observation airplanes. They modified those where you could uh, carry out wounded and carry in supplies in any place almost. In the, uh, before you were limited to the regular airfield. And, uh, and, and, you could, with the light planes, you could stay with the movement of the ground troop. And that was a big help. Uh, and the main reason the idea was uh, adopted. Uh, I was um, very interested in accumulating flying time, so uh, I tried to go at it like that. Uh, and, uh, uh, well, I never turned down a mission. Uh, 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 my health was good. I never had to cancel uh, anything. Uh, 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 I'm a firm, firm believer in luck.